a first COVID-19 vlog for you here. We are in Niagara-on-the-Lake at Fort George, here to visit family, only four people. It is June now, but uh, Fort George is a major fort located just outside of the uh, town. It is a major destination that you would probably visit if you say we're touring the area on a two-day tour. Um, but as you can see by this sign here, they are prepared for COVID, so we're gonna go check it out. Uh, I got a coffee here too. But all the buildings are closed, so uh, I've never been here before, which is the main reason why I'm here, because it seems like it would be kind of like a cool thing to check out uh, before I head back into Toronto. Let's take a look at Fort George here, and I'll just sort of, sort of, I'll just sort of show you the sights, at least take advantage of it. It's a Monday, so it's gonna be pretty uh, dead, so I could get a lot of coverage of what it looks like. It's not that big, so here we go. It is really cool if you've never been to an authentic Canadian fort before. This is probably one of the best preserved ones. They have one in Toronto, but it's not that really, uh, I would say it's that impressive a structure, but this one definitely has, well, you can tell which parts have been rebuilt. Uh, a la these sections down here. Sorry about the coffee, um, especially the size. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of cool. It's really impressive visually versus like the Citadel in Quebec City also, it reminds me of. It's uh, uh, it just seems to be untouched, let's say. So what is a fort really, but just like a giant space for people to like, you know, sit and wait to get attacked. So that's all we got here, right? Um, it is impressive though. Canada doesn't really have that many historical structures uh, on a scale of say this. Like, you know, you go to Paris, you got things just like Versailles, which are older than this and way more impressive. But uh, for what we have as a nation, this is a very impressive site. I gotta say, it's very uh, quaint and picturesque in the sense that even with the church bell going on in the background, it does feel, you know, minus these trucks and stuff that are here for maintenance reasons, uh, it feels like it would when it was built. Like you do get that sense because you can't see any buildings around here other than the actual structures from the fort itself. Everything else is hidden below the tree line. So it's got that feel of stepping back into time. Very, very cool. I'm gonna check out more of this. Essentially, I don't know if you're allowed to walk up to the walls, but we're just following this path here. All the buildings that are closed here, barracks. I'm somewhat familiar with historical building interiors. There's also a lot of massive bumblebees in this place, so I'm trying to avoid getting stung. Uh, I didn't want to mention that, just to tempt fate. So here, some reconstruction work going on here. These appear to be the main buildings for presentations. I 
I shouldn't be going down this area because it's I'm trapped in. There's bees galore, but there's a path. So I have to go down the path. Okay, well, we're suddenly in a tunnel now. Uh, creepy at all, yeah. Just got a random tunnel in the back of the fort there that goes out to, to God knows where, tarped off uh, under construction by some ghosts. I think at the top here, as I've now come off the path and I'm right up against the fence, you can kind of see what was going on over there. I believe they were fracking or something, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully not. I could not tell you what actually they were up to inside. And above ground, you've got this stuff going on, so. A lot of work going on in the fort. So clearly the path that I was on went to that. Which would have been pretty cool to go inside, but unfortunately not available today place might be actually worth coming back and visiting just to go into those buildings. I didn't really think that it had, I do like tunnels and that was a cool tunnel. And if you're gonna get like the experience like you got today, it's a Monday and there's not much really going on, you can't really beat that, can ya? You can't beat that. I guess our final destination is one of these platforms. Please keep off of earthworks. I'm not really sure if this is an earthwork. We're not gonna go. We're not gonna go on to the uh, platforms themselves. Then, hoping that that constitutes an earthwork. Kind of done the site now, so uh, there is an exit right over here that leads closer to the parking that I'm at. Or I don't have to go through where I came basically and avoid some bees. I don't think frequently. I'm not so sure that this is open all the time, so I'm going to take advantage of it. Close until further notice. It looks like it's normally open. Anyway, it leads you right back out onto the waterfront trail what I'm on now. We keep our distance, you know? So 
that's gonna be a COVID-19 tourist attraction vlog, the first ever uh, here from historic Fort George in Niagara-on-the-Lake, Ontario. You'll probably see a lot of Niagara attractions in coming vlogs and focuses on videos anyway, as it is obviously a region close to me I have a lot of history with. But for some reason, like this place, I haven't been to before, or at least haven't been to certain attractions within it to before. So look forward to that as these places do gradually open up. Like I said, it is June, so I do anticipate some of these places opening up soon enough. There's the very unusual visit visitor center. Unusual in design. Not really sure what it's about. So that's it, signing off from historic Fort George here. A pretty good experience. I will be definitely coming back uh, when the buildings are actually open. I didn't really think, like I'm a, I am a history nut, and yet I haven't really explored a lot of these places within my own country or even my own province, which is kind of a shame. And I'll probably be changing that this summer because why, why not? When the opportunity presents itself, you might as well take advantage of the local places within your own community or wider thereof. So stay safe, everyone. Hopefully you'll be able to explore some places yourself. Enjoy the videos. Enjoy the ride.